I have a question for you. For the peak of the market in February 2022, how long do you think it will take for prices to get back to where they were in February 2022? Comment below on how many months or how many years you think it will take for prices to get back to where they were before the rate hikes. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Raymond Howe and we are a real estate team called House Real Estate here in Toronto and the GTA. On today's video, we're going to talk about the three reasons why I'm actually kind of excited the market is shifting and changing and correcting right now in different areas. And we're going to dig really deep into why this is happening and where I think it's going to go moving forward. I mean, everything is based on interest rates. Interest rates continue to go up the five-year fixed rate and it's almost over 5%. Now you got variable rates going over 3% from where they were at one point. 5% early in the year, the Fed in the States just raised rates as another 0.75%, three quarters, which they have not done in a long time. And typically, we follow suit. So I don't think it's gonna get better before it gets worse. It's gonna keep getting worse before it gets better. If you like this type of real estate content, and if you could give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and join our community, I really appreciate it. I've also had a really cool experience over the past year of really being consistent on posting these YouTube videos, helping a lot of you buy and sell properties regardless of what's going on on the interest rate or the market because we come from a data first perspective. If you want to book a call with myself or anybody on my team, you can go into first link in the description and book a buyer's call, a seller's call, or a call to chat about the market. Number one is that sellers have been spoiled for a long time. But really, the last two years have been out of control, expecting to have 70 plus showings on a property and 10 plus offers on every property that comes to the market and basically everything that was being listed. Selling is not realistic and it had been happening for so long that a lot of people just thought this was the norm. And we're gonna go through a period of time right now where it is not the norm. In fact, things are changing very, very quickly and prices have now dropped off almost four months in a row. And to answer my own question, which I asked you at the beginning of this video, how long do I think as a seller will have to wait to get back to February price again? In my opinion, minimum 18 months. Number two, life doesn't care what's happening with prices. Life is life. And when things happen in your life, people move, people get separated. Whether they're a state sale, if someone gets a brand new job, there are things that's happening in their life that regardless of all the fundamentals of the market, people need to move. And the reason why I bring this up is because a lot of people recently in my conversations are only talking about housing as an asset. Like you gotta live somewhere. And I actually heard someone say, which I thought was funny is when you're complaining about what interest rates are right now on the property you own, just remember that interest on your rent is 100%, where interest on what you own is 3% or more. Comparison with renting a property and home ownership. Think about that one. Reason number three. As a real estate broker, I believe that the real estate industry was becoming oversaturated. What I mean by this is there are too many realtors and there's not enough full-time realtors. More than half of the people with real estate license don't even sell a property a year. I think if you're going to be in this industry, you have to treat it extremely seriously. Just like if you're looking for a lawyer or a doctor, you're not going to be looking for a part-time lawyer or a part-time doctor. You're not going to use a lawyer that's only done one court case or if you need an open heart surgery, you're not going to use a doctor that has only done one surgery in the past. Relaying all this back to the real estate, this is probably one of the most important transactions in your life. And that's what I'm trying to do, to change the industry inside out. That's what House Real Estate, our team is all about. Only full-time agents that's passionate on what they do to be the most trusted brand in real estate. In the current environment, there's going to be a lot of agents that find it very, very difficult it's difficult. <laughs> that could be a blooper right there. In the current environment, there's going to be a lot of law of agents that find it very difficult. And anybody that got into the industry over the past two years that think that they got things figured out, well, they're in for a real wake up call now. I actually do believe that people that are very, very skilled will take over more market share than ever. Because people right now need a professional. When only 25% of listings are selling, you need someone that can come in and tell you what you actually need to hear, not just what you want to hear. And in my most recent experience with this, in the year 2020, when prices dropped a few months in a row, I took more listings than I ever had. Because you can't just trust your cousin, you can't just trust your best friend that just got the license. You need a professional. 
I think professional agents are going to take over and it's actually going to increase the trust and the way the public looks at the industry. Sorry, a little bit of a rant there. I hope no one took it the wrong way. It is my mission to make this industry better and I think this will be a good thing overall for the industry. It will bring us all up. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please throw them in the comments below. My name is Raymond Howe and remember at House Real Estate, we put people first.